Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and for today's video we're headed to the world of Throne and Liberty. Yes, supposedly the next big MMORPG that we were supposed to get Q4 2022, which has now been pushed to Q2 2023. But of course, like all these other games, I'm sure beta is on the way. Now for this video, which should be pretty quick, we finally got some communication from the NCSoft team. And it's been a while. We got a new video, some of their internal play tests, shows a little bit of character creation, shows the massive battles and the character sieges. So it's pretty fun. I thought, why not make an updated video? Now, if you don't know about Throne and Liberty, this is a game that has gone through lots of changes and iterations, and this is supposed to be kind of the next big lineage game. And recently it's pivoted kind of away from lineage and it might feel like lineage, but it's not in that world. So let's see what's going on. Let's check out this video in a moment. Right now we are on the website MMORPG.com and Seasoft shows off Throne and Liberty internal beta footage and launches a play novel map full of lore to explore. Ooh, I like that. It has been a little while since we've heard anything about Throne and Liberty, but NCSoft is showing off a new video from the company's internal beta test. They've also rolled out a new story map, taking us through the details of the game settings, characters, and lore. What is shown in the video includes some of Throne and Liberty's key features. We get a glimpse of character creation, exploration, and the huge large scale encounters in the form of a huge world boss and the expansive PVP castle sieges with lots of players on screen competing to bring their side victory. The number of players engaging simultaneously does show that they are going for development of this new MMO. In fact, over 3000 employees at NCSoft took part in the internal test, making sure that there were enough players for these huge encounters. And some of these smaller studios can't do that, right? They really need to look to the community and we got to sign all these NDAs and all this different stuff. Well, at NCSoft, you could literally just have 3,000 of your employees play the playtest. You can see from the video how it's possible to use the environment and the terrain in combat, creating this sort of dynamic environment in another sign that NCSoft is clearly going big after pivoting the game from the lineage follow-up which is what I said at the beginning. Originally set for release in Q4, this game has been pushed into the first half of 2023, so it's also not surprising the beta build is still in development, but looking this advanced, but it's looking this advanced at this time. There's also a new play novel style map to interact with. If you pan the map around and click on the various elements, you'll get introductions to characters, monsters, and boss encounter details, and mini episodic stories of things like facing sandworms and making discoveries to history and much more. Ooh, ah, who out there is looking for a new MMO? I don't know, I'd rather take an action RPG, but maybe Throne in Liberty will be great. Enjoy this new video of the internal beta testing. Yeah. 
자 저희 뭉쳐서 한 번에 들어갈 겁니다 전열 정비해 주세요 정열 정열 밀고 들어와요 밀고 들어와요 저희 다 같이 먼저 안으로 들어갈게요 어, 안돼 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 1분 1분만 버티면 돼요 1분만 못 들어오게 해주세요 저희 얼마 안 나오죠 끝까지 해볼게요 이겼어요 이겼어요 밀고 나가 밀고 나가 고생하셨습니다. Now, maybe this game isn't for you, but love it or hate it, it is going to have hundreds of thousands of players, maybe even millions. Right now, we are on the official website for Throne and Liberty. And even though there's not a ton of new information on here, I just really quickly wanted to show you how they have spared no expense on this MMO by going down to the gallery. Check out some of these images, okay? We're just gonna go through them fairly quick get that lineage vibe there you know look at this Ooh, ah that's pretty cool i like it when we have good artwork i don't know if anyone else appreciates that or not you got some weapons i don't know not gonna say i'm sold on the game yet i really need to see more gameplay and people that i trust that are playing it but so far it looks pretty good and it's honestly not too far away, and this game has been in development forever. That's the video, quick and easy, Thone, Throne and Liberty, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video, ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button, I would really appreciate it. Really does help the channel, but only if you think I deserve it. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 45 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge, and you get a special title in the Discord if you want to chit chat with me or ask me any questions and lots of other goodies based on where you sign up at. Again, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Throne and Liberty. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learn something. Aaron, out. <laughs>